everybody, this is Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Gonna bring you a quick video today of this beautiful, clear, butterfly, sparkly tray. I only used a couple of products in this piece. I used some of the copper rose leaf, some orange butterflies, obviously, and some fair winds glitter that's just sparkling very subtly in there. I also use my large round tray silicone mold that's available in my store, and everything that I'm using in this video will be linked in the video description below. So I do have some of these um, orange butterflies still left in my store, quite a few, and I have a bunch of other colors too. So I have like pink, yellow, green, blue, purple. If you guys wanna check that out, head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com. So here you can see I'm using a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Fairwinds glitter. Gonna get a nice base going here first. I did do this in about three layers of resin. And I am going to kind of interrupt a little later on here. I was talking while I was mixing, uh, trying to kind of update you on how many ounces and milliliters I was using per layer. So hopefully that will help you guys. A lot of times I just kind of eyeball it as I go. And I know that's not very helpful, but I heard a long time ago, I kind of figured out that a long time ago when I did my resin geodes, if they were a 12 by 12 inch, piece like a canvas or a board you were typically going to need like five ounces of resin so i kind of now when i'm working on like a smaller coaster or a mold this size i kind of keep that in my frame of reference and then obviously you know you're going to have to triple or quadruple that because we're going to have more layers of this than we would on just like a one layer geode that layer had cured i'm now just doing a clear layer here I am using liquid diamonds. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit as well. This is one of my favorite resins for just really curing clear, hardly any bubbles. And actually I would mix this. There would be hardly any bubbles. I would let it sit for 10 minutes before I laid it down and just letting it sit in the cup for 10 minutes, it would get rid of virtually every bubble left in the resin. And while that is that resin is wet, I'm coming in with the copper rose leaf using tweezers to pull it out of the jar. That's really handy for getting the larger flakes out. And then here I'm gonna use my silicone brushes to gently break up that leaf. And this way I'm not scuffing up the surface of my mold. Silicone brushes are available in my store. I love these, I use them now all the time and you get five in a pack and they're all with different shaped tips. And so I'm just gonna come around and really break this up and try to get it as uniform and as even and balanced as I can. All right, everybody, so here we are um, using more of the liquid diamonds here. So initially I mixed up three ounces for the first layer, 150 milligrams for the second, and now I've done six for this last one. And I'm hoping we'll fill out the rest of the mold. I've just let this sit for 10 minutes, so you can see there's only like two bubbles in there. They're still popping. And I am just gonna take a teeny, 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 like this is it, little bit of glitter of the fair winds here, beautiful. So I'm gonna gently mix that in. It's gonna create a few more bubbles, but we're going really slow. All right, so like I said, I wanna do some orange butterflies in this piece, but I do have a bunch of other colors. I just think these orange are so beautiful, and I think I'm kind of channeling fall <laughs> and autumn and just kind of ready for cooler weather with all the orange and copper beautiful tones in this piece. So in these packs of butterflies, you get 40 stickers, and I believe there's kind of like tw about 20 different shapes and sizes and colors of them, and then you get like two of each. So. I'm kind of dividing them up right here, and now I'm gonna demold this, because this is ready to go. And it demolded really well. I just needed to sand a couple of little edges were a little poiky, as my daughter would say, underneath. Um, and some of them I can just peel off, but um, it sands really easily with some sandpaper. I was very mindful not to like scuff any of it though, since we want this to look very clear. 
and I'm just gonna sort of play around, put these down, see where I might want them. I am wearing gloves. Um, when I lay them in, I'm not wearing gloves, and I, I should have been because a couple of them got a couple of my fingerprints on them. You can't really tell, but of course I can see. I know that they're there, but um, I knew I wanted to kind of sort of keep these to one side and have a nice blend of the butterflies going up. So I'm gonna sort of move these around, play around with them a little bit, get them where I like them. And then what I like to do is once I have stones or butterflies or whatever I'm using in place, and then I need to pick them up to glue them down or sticker them down or whatever, I will take a picture with my phone and set it to the side so then I can reference that so that I get everything right back where I wanted it. Here you can see I'm just sort of moving stuff around. I was checking my balance. I didn't really like how it was looking. And once I get this where I like it, we will sticker them down. All right, we'll time lapse this to not bore you guys to tears. This is where I was talking about that I should have still had gloves on because we got a few little fingerprints on the underneath the sticky part of the sticker. But just peeling back the plastic, laying gently down the clear, and then again using my silicone brushes to really get them totally flush with the piece and remove any air pockets. And they went down really smoothly. You can see how beautiful they look there. And then I'm just gonna do a really, really thin clear coat to cover them. Sorry, obviously my sunglasses and everything. I was like really trying to get this piece done and it was so many layers and obviously uh, I'm kind of all over the place with this one, but so I just used, I think I did about 150 milliliters. Oh, when I was talking earlier and talking about how many um, ounces and everything I'd use, I think I said milligrams and I meant milliliters earlier. So pardon that I misspoke and just using my gloved hand to really move this around. I'm still sticking with that same liquid diamonds and I'm just gonna let this flow and move around on its own. Again, every layer that I did with that liquid diamonds that I mixed up was very clear and then I just would let it sit for 10 minutes. I set a timer and when I came back, there were no bubbles in it at all and I was able to pour right away. And this stuff cures um, pretty quickly. I, that's why I wanted to use this one too because I knew we were gonna do several layers and I wanted to get this piece done. So um, really ultra clear resin. I am not affiliated with them at all. I don't get a kickback or anything from them. I just really like um, their resin, especially the liquid diamonds. I really, that's all I use when I'm doing ultra clear multiple layer pieces like this. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super quick and super easy. Only a couple of products and you can get these beautiful effects. Look at that Fairwinds sparkling in the sunshine just beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the description for everything that I used and links to my socials. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like the video. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.